Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my top five fashion purchases from 2017. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is something I haven't shown you guys yet. I actually bought these in December, so I guess they're kind of like a Christmas present. Um, and I haven't even worn them yet, but First off in the list are these, absolutely gorgeous. I know I just filmed a video on sunglasses, but you haven't seen these yet. These are my Versace's. They are so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Love, love, love. Like I said, I haven't worn them, but they feel very comfortable when I try them on. I just think they're quite an unusual shape. Uh, I love this gold accent detailing with the hardware, if I can show you here. You've got the little detailing here and here, and then on the side, it says Versace, and then it says the inside as well, on the arm. I don't even know if you can see that, but I just absolutely love the detailing, even the side, just look at the side of them. It's just such a nice detail. I just feel like they are such glamorous glasses. You know, sometimes you have sunglasses that are quite plain, um, you know, they'll go with anything, you know, t-shirt and jeans, whatever, but I feel like these are really glamorous and I would wear them, you know, getting dressed up, going out somewhere really nice, hence why I haven't worn them yet, because I haven't gone anywhere glamorous enough for them, but I absolutely love them. I just think they're really chic, they're really stylish, but they're a little bit unusual, they're slightly different from your average black and gold sunglasses, so I absolutely love them. So that's the first thing. I'll leave links below as well uh, as to where I got everything from at the end of the video. Uh, next up, another thing that I haven't shown you yet because I got it in December, so I guess it's another uh, Christmas present to myself. It is this Versace, sorry, uh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> scarf i absolutely love this it actually goes really nice with what i'm wearing um but yes uh you've probably seen my other scarf my other louis vuitton scarf it's the only other one that i have of the brand and it is the kind of the brown shade the tan and then the dark brown um so i wanted something a little bit different i've had that one for a while i was kind of getting a little bit bored of having the same scarf all the time so i went for this color I absolutely love Louis Vuitton scarves. I think they're my favorite in terms of uh, designer brands for scarves. I absolutely love the monogram print of Louis Vuitton. Now, in general, I would say that if I was to have the monogram print on anything, I would say it would have to be the luggage or the scarves because I really don't like the monogram print on the handbags. For some reason, I just think it really dates the bag it kind of just makes them look really dated and not really in they don't really feel very current to me i just for some reason i don't know what it is but i don't like the monogram print on the handbags but on the luggage i think it looks really classic and i absolutely love it but we all know i don't wear leather so it doesn't matter anyway because i won't be buying any of the louis vuitton bags so the only way i can get the, mon the monogram print that i like is by getting the scarf so i absolutely love them we have this black shade here. I did, um, I can't, don't know if I can find it. I did actually pull a thread. Uh, when you have long nails, it's so annoying. I don't know if you ever do this, but when your nail kind of splits slightly, um, it catches on absolutely everything. And literally the first day I wore this, my nail caught, I don't even know where it's gone. My nail caught on it. Oh, I think it's here. I don't even know if you can see. And I pulled a thread all the way through. You can kind of see, I pulled a thread where it's like wrinkled here, all the way down, you can see it there, all the way down and it's really, really long and I was so annoyed. But because it's a scarf and you're going to, you know, wrap it around your neck, no one's really gonna see that, so I didn't mind too much. Um, but that's the only downside. I find that they're really, um, they're kind of hard wearing and tough, but at the same time, they're really delicate and yeah, they definitely hook really easily. Um, so yeah, that's something to think about. But I absolutely love this scarf. I just think it's gorgeous. Like I said, I love the print and I love the color. So that is definitely one of my favorites from last year, even though it's literally just a couple of weeks ago that I got it. Uh, next up, I would have to say these. 
Now, I know that some people think that they are hideously ugly. My husband called them the ugliest shoes he's ever seen in his life. And I get it. I get that they kind of look ugly. Um, they were the shoes, they were the, the type of thing that I literally hated them. I thought they were disgusting. And I hated them that much that I ended up liking them. You know, sometimes you hear a really annoying song and you're like, this song is terrible, who likes this? And then you end up singing it and you think you like it in the end. Well, that's what happened with these shoes. I thought they were ugly. I thought, who on earth would wear that? And the more I saw them, I was like, actually, I think I like them. So I still look at them and I think they're ugly. It's kind of like a little pet or like a little, I don't know, a little animal. And it's a little bit ugly, but you feel sorry for it and you think it's cute because it's ugly. I kind of feel the same about these. Um, so these are not actually the real Gucci Prince Towns um, as they look. But these are actually dupes. Now, the real Gucci Prince Towns, now these are not replicas, so these are not fake Gucci's. They don't say Gucci inside or anything like that. Um, these are just, you know, they basically another company's kind of copied the design. Um, so these are just dupes of the Gucci Prince Towns. As I said before, I don't wear leather, so I'm not gonna be wearing the, the real leather and real fur version of these. But the real uh, Prince Towns actually cost 650 pounds roughly which is, I think is about like $900 or something. Um, so yeah, quite a lot of money. Uh, so they are usually real leather and real fur, but I got these for five pounds. Now they weren't in the sale. That was just the full price of five pounds. So if you're interested where I got them from, I will leave the link below as well. Um, but I just think they're an absolute bargain and that's why I've put them in this video. They're not necessarily my favorite thing I've ever bought, but I think because they look exactly identical to the ones for 650 pounds, 700 pounds in some stores, the fact that I paid five pounds for them, I think is absolutely amazing. And they're kind of like an iconic sh a shoe now. Like everybody knows what they are. Everybody knows that these are the Gucci's. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad I bought them actually, even though I don't wear them very often. So I had to include these in today's video. Okay, next up, I'm going to go with this dress. Now it's not even necessarily just this dress. Um, I'm picking the entire collection. So this is the Victoria Beckham for Target collection that she launched last year, 2017. This is just one of the dresses. I bought many of the dresses. I bought tops. I bought a play suit, but it was the wrong size, so I had to get rid of it. Um, but I bought many things from the collection and I'm I'm gonna get a few more actually because I don't know about in other countries but in the UK you can still get the pieces on eBay everybody knows it's sold out in the same day but on eBay in the UK there are some sellers still selling little bits and pieces you know with the tag still on so there are a couple more pieces that I think I will purchase but I did get a really good collection and this is one of my favorites I absolutely love it I just loved the whole collection. I thought it was amazing. The price point was insanely cheap. Considering her dresses are usually thousands, thousands of pounds, some of them, and you're getting it for under 40 pounds. I just thought it was, uh, it was mind blowing to me that the collection was so inexpensive. I knew it would be cheaper, obviously it's with Target, but I didn't think it would be that cheap. So I think it's absolutely amazing. And what's even more amazing is that this design, along with a couple of other designs, this design, this is the, the Target one, but she already had this design, the exact same dress, exactly the same. She had this come out years ago in her normal Victoria Beckham line and a couple of the other dresses as well, uh, the, the mint green lace dress that I've worn before on my channel, so you may remember it. She already released that years ago and I think it's amazing that I literally saw that years ago, thought it was beautiful, saw some celebrities wearing it, and I've seen Victoria wearing this one years ago, thought they're amazing, and I never thought that I would own them for such a cheap price. Um, so I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, the quality is great. I always get compliments when I wear them, so they had to be in my top five. Okay, last but not least, I had to include one of my Harrods handbags. We all know, like I said, for the 10th time, um, I don't wear leather, so, I love my Harrods handbags. This is probably the fav my favorite from last year. I did buy quite a few last year, and I would say this is my favorite. It's just a classic. I haven't had it that long, just a few months, um, but I absolutely love it, and I've been using it so much. It's just like my go-to handbag, so I love it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.